Hello my lovelies, welcome to Pisces season where Sassy and I are bringing you a kawaii inspired zodiac set and this, this month is going to be Cinnamon Roll. Cinnamon Roll is a cute little white dog with cute chubby cheeks and my inspiration for this set came from this photo here. So I'm going to match these colours from the photo from my Madame Glam collection and this pink is rose and this blue is fresh water. I'm going to paint all these nails with two coats. I'm going to paint the first coat and then cure it for one minute in my LED light and then paint the second coat and then I can move on with the design. Uh, in amongst the pink and blue nails I'm also going to use a yellow gel polish and the one I've chosen is called Halo from Madam Glam and it's I wish it was more of a pastely yellow but that's as pastely as I had in my collection so it'll have to do and I'm going to paint that one as well and I'm going to do the second coat off camera make sure it's all cured then for the next part I'm going to need Madam Glam's perfect white halo rose rich mumbo fresh water and lagoon and I'm also going to use my ugly ducklings painter brush and I'm going to start painting the art on the blue nails so keeping true to the image which I'm taking my inspiration from I am going to draw a rainbow and I want it to span over the three nails so here I'm just using my first color and mapping out roughly where I want the arch of the rainbow to be spanning over the three nails then I need to make sure each nail is actually complete and the line work goes right to the side wall so I'm picking up each nail and making sure the gel polish actually looks complete on the entire nail and with my first color done I am going to give that a cure in my LED light and then I can move on and add the next colors which will be a darker pink and then a yellow and then finally the darker blue now because my yellow is on the sheer side I did apply it a little bit thick and it wrinkled when I cured it but that's okay um, <laughs> it's not the end of the world and once I've given all the colors a cure I can add some clouds at the very ends of the rainbows and I'm just using a dotting tool and dabbing on sort of the shape of what a drawn cloud looks like and once that's in place I'm going to cure that to set it and then I can move on to the next step next up i'm going to work on the thumbnail and here i'm just using perfect white and a liner brush and i'm drawing diagonal lines going from left side wall right across to the right side wall and my lines aren't perfect i do go back with a, a dry brush and clean up my lines to make them look as straight as possible and then when i'm happy with that one i'm going to cure it and set it aside then i'm going to move on to the pinky finger and this is really simple i'm just adding dots right down the entire nail and when they're all cured I am going to add first a base coat and then my no wipe top coat over the entire nails obviously I cure the base coat before I add the no wipe top coat and now I can start on my 3d uh, acrylic work Using a reference photo from my phone, I'm actually sketching out what the outline of cinnamon roll on the backing of a nail form. And I'm using a Sharpie to do this. Keep in mind the Sharpie does not dry, so if I accidentally smudge it with my finger, I will erase my lines. The reason I'm using a Sharpie is because when I do add my acrylic to this, it's going to absorb the Sharpie and give me almost like a faint outline of my cinnamon roll. As you'll see now as I'm applying it to the form um, because if you take note of any cinnamon roll picture or image it does have a blue outline to him so that's what my intention was by using the Sharpie otherwise I could have used a pencil or a permanent marker to outline it um, in the end I did go over it with gel polish as well um, because it wasn't as consistent as I thought it would turn out in my head. <laughs> anyway, so now I'm using white acrylic and a size 10 acrylic brush and I am almost like coloring in but using my acrylic beads and they are oversaturated to help me move them into place easier and try not to use it over completely oversaturated so it runs everywhere. We do need it to stay within the lines that we are drawing 
and I am just sculpting away and creating my cute little cinnamon roll. Once he's completely dry, I will be peeling him off the backing paper and turn him over and add some clear acrylic to the back of him to help reinforce the joins. Because if you noticed, I didn't overlap my white acrylic uh, just so it wouldn't be a bulky piece. And now I'm just using some clear acrylic to help reinforce the back part of it to make sure he doesn't snap into pieces. The next step is to create the little balloons that he's holding and I'm just using some jewellery wire uh, attached together at one particular point and on, I'm using the form backing paper to sculpt my little balloons onto the ends of all the wires. Uh, just some regular white acrylic beads and placing them at the very tip and forming circles. Once I've got all the circles onto the wires, I am then going to use a very small brush and a very small bead of white acrylic to add sort of the, the part where you tie the balloon, that little triangle down the bottom. And it's going to look like a cute little tied up balloon on a piece of string. Moving back to my little cinnamon roll, I am going to add some facial features and I'm just using a dotting tool to add eyes, cheeks and a smile and I'm going to stick him into my light to cure and in the meantime I am going to work on colouring in my balloons and I'm going to use the same colours that I've been currently using, my blue, yellow and pink. That I'm only going to do one coat because I've got the white acrylic underneath and the colour becomes really, really it looks actually really nice it won't need a second coat so i'm going to cure them and then add a white reflection line in the balloons using my dotting tool give that a cure and while that's curing i'm going to finish up my outline of cinnamon roll uh, because like i said earlier i wasn't happy with the definition from the sharpie now i'm finishing off the balloons with the no wipe top coat my cute little cinnamon roll after he's cured i'm going to add a matte top coat to him and give him a full cure and set him aside for the moment so I can add this little Pisces word onto my thumbnail and I'm just using some white uh, sorry clear acrylic to attach that right down the center of the nail and this little Pisces writing is from BRC Nails and I'm going to link her shop down below in the, in the description so be sure to check out her website as well for some awesome little goodies next I'm going to attach my acrylic art piece to the middle nail securing it with some clear acrylic making sure it sets up properly and once it sets in place I am going to show you the end result because these nails are ready for reveal and here is my completed cute little cinnamon roll for our kawaii collaboration with sassy what do you think of it be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to head over to Sassy's channel and check out her version of Cinnamon Roll. I'm sure you're going to love it because it's adorable. And let her know your love and support in the comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels if you haven't already. That way you won't miss any videos we put out in future. And that's it for today's video, my lovelies. If you enjoyed it, do hit that like button. And that's it for today's video. I will catch you all in my next one. But in the meantime, if you would like to watch another video, YouTube recommends this one for you. Well, I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you next time. Bye.